First thing you need to identify uh, how many anion reactions in this indeterminate beam. So in this case, we have five anion reactions, and then you need to minus with three equilibrium equations, and you're gonna get two pins that you need to locate. So here we put it the pins in the middle where we can solve the point load and the uniform loading distribution together. So after putting the pins, you need to identify the distance between pins to the support, which is 0.2L, and the L is the span of between two supports, which is 5 meters. Here you're going to get 1 meters distance between the support and the pin. So the next step is you need to redraw this beam uh, with with the pins and also a distance. Okay, these two pins are gonna divide this beam into three uh, members. So, so then you can easily solve this problem. So from here you can uh, draft how the bending moment looks like. Okay, so from there you can uh, uh, determine how many moments that you gonna solve. Alright, the first step is we want to solve the moment number 3 because of uh, it is in the middle where we have the point load and the uniform distributed load together. Okay, to solve um, moment 3, we know that we have uh, UDL and also point load and we're going to also need to solve the R, we see reaction force. That we're gonna use later to calculate moment two and moment four. So moment three, we're gonna use two formula because we have the UDL and point load. So for UDL, we're gonna use WL squared over eight plus for point load PL over four. So from here, we just um, putting all the information into the formula. So we're gonna get the answer is. 19.12 kilonewton meter. Don't forget the units, okay? Kilonewton meter. And the next step you want to do is to find the uh, reaction force uh, at the pin. So you can use the equilibrium equilibrium equation uh, where all the forces uh, upward gonna be the plus Fy. So R plus R minus seven times three. So seven times three is the UDL times the span. And also minus 15 the point load so you're gonna get r is equal to 18 kilonewton so moving forward we're gonna solve uh, moment 2 and moment 4 which is uh, basically a similar loading so we're gonna use wl squared over 2 which is the cantilever uh, formula plus pl pl is the p is basically the r the reaction force times the l so the l here is uh, the distance between the support and the pin is one meter, the one that you calculated earlier. Okay, so why M2 is equal to M4? Because if you look at the diagram, uh, between support and also the pin, they have one meter distance, and also the loading UDL is the same, so basically they are the same, so they are similar. And then the next step is um, calculating M1. So M1 is WL squared over 8 minus M2, half of it. And the same thing with M5, you're going to use WL squared over 8 again, but then M4, half of it. But the difference with the M5 is that the, the span, this is 5.5, it's not 6. If it's 6, then it's going to be the same like M1 equal to M5. And then after we manage to calculate all the moments, we just redraw again the bending moment diagram with plus at the bottom and minus at the top and we just put it every, all the values over there next question is from past exam 2 question 1 so in this case we have a fixed support and two roller support so fixed support can can have three unknown reactions from fy fx and also moment and we have two um, unknown support coming from the each roller so a total of five minus three kilogram you're gonna get two pins so two pins is uh, are located at the first pen because it's gonna be helpful for us to solve with with the moment at the fixed support so here again you need to identify the distance between the, the pin and the support which is 0 0.2 l 
So the next step is we want to draft how the bending moments look like. So then we can identify how many moments that we need to calculate later on. So from here, you need to be careful with the fit support. Because the fit support, again, if you see at the top, we have internal moment there. So you need to start with some value. You cannot start from zero. So some value. So and then after that, in the middle is just uh, UDL, the beam. And again, the minus is at the, at the top side and the plus at the bottom side. And if you see the diagram here, you can see the bending moment for the cantilever beam. They already have the value in the beginning. So that diagram you can get it at the end of the past exams so some formula that will help you if you forgot about it so the next the next step is you want to solve m2 because m2 is the easiest way to solve because we have all the information we have the loading which is udl 6 kN per meter and also we need to solve the reactions at the pins which is very important for you to solve m1 and m3 later on so here we're going to use the formula wl squared over 8 which is udl uh, formula if you want to calculate the moment you just uh, then you just doing all the putting all the values in this formula now you're going to get the answer 17.28 kilonewton and the next step again you can use uh, fy which is forces upward gonna be plus to calculate the reaction rr to have two r there and then negative six times 4.8 because you want to convert the udl into point load so from here you're gonna get r equal to 14.4 kilonewton you also can solve this r using wl over two straight away from the formula at the back of the final exam paper so the next step you want to solve m1 because you already get the the reaction at the pin so you can solve it so here m1 we're going to use wl squared over 2 plus pl so wl squared over 2 is coming from the cantilever formula and pl because you have the forces at the pin which the p is the 14.4 that we calculated before and l here is the distance between the pin and the support uh, if you see as well, M1 is equal to M3 because the distance between the pin and the support is 1.6. Both of them is the same distance, between, uh, which is M1 and M3. And the loading as well is the same, which is 6 kN per meter. So because of the loading and the distance is the same, and we're gonna when we are using the same formula, which is WL squared over 2 plus PL, so we're going to get the same answer. So here we can conclude that M1 is equal to M3, which is going to save you some time, some uh, you know, buy you time to go to the next step. So next step, we, we're going to skip M4 because we need the information from M5. So we're going to do M5 first. So from M5, we're going to use the same formula that we are squared over 2 plus PL. But why we need PL? Because if you see there, there is the point load at the end of this beam which is 15 kilonewton if there is no point load over there so the formula is just wl squared over 2 so after you got m5 then you can calculate m4 so m4 we're going to use wl squared over 8 minus half of m3 and half of m5 so always when we have this condition um, to solve M4, you always need to solve the two moment value uh, side by side with M3 and 5. So from there, M3 and 5 going to be half of it. And you can see also here, we're going to get negative 28.86 kilometer meter. So you need to be careful on that because after when you draw the bending moment diagram, that negative should be at the top. Because you see the 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 first draft is is just want to locate locate how many moment and where will be the moment looks like, but when you when you get the values you need to redraw your bending moment diagram because uh, that will be uh, represent the value from the from the graph. 
So here I'm trying to to draw it. Uh, if you see at M4 because it is in negative side, so it will be at the top, not crossing the the center line going to the positive. I hope this tutorial gonna help you in the final exam. Thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.